Mr. Calix here from Math Magicians, and we will continue with our physics course. Today, we're going to see vector operations practice problems. This would be the last video, three of three. The first exercise says, the camper walks 4.5 at 45 degrees north of east. As you can see, your vector is here, is the red vector. And then 4.5 kilometers due south, as you can see, your vector is the yellow vector. Find the camper's total displacements. The drawing was made because of time, but as you can see, you have an axis for the first component and a second axis from where you left out for the second component. You're making here two triangles or two right triangles. The first right triangle is the red one here. And it says that he walks 4.5 kilometers at an angle of 45 degrees. So that would be my first displacement, okay? It would be a triangle or a right triangle that has a hypotenuse of 4.5 kilometers with an angle of 45 degrees. And these are my components. This would be my component, my vertical component or my Y component and my horizontal component. We put the ones because it's the first displacement. We need to find both components. For this, we know already that we use sine and cosine. So we're going to start with cosine. Cosine of the angle, cosine of 45 degrees is equal to the adjacent, that is your delta x, over the hypotenuse, that is 4.5 kilometers. We send this 4.5, we know already from previous exercises, we send it to the other side as a multiplication, indicating that my delta x or my x component or my horizontal component is equal to cosine of 45 multiplies 4.5 kilometers. We plug this in our calculators, uh, cosine of 45 times 4.5, it says that is 3.2 kilometers. This is my horizontal component. Now we need to find our vertical component. And since we already know that cosine was for delta x, that means that delta y, one would be with sine. Sine of 45, multiplies 4.5 kilometers. We make this multiplication, sine of 45 times 4.5. I also have 3.2 kilometers. I have my two components for my first vector. Now we're going to find the second displacement component. So we're going to call it second displacement. So the second displacement, we have a 4.5 kilometers, but it says that it's due south. Remember that south is negative. Since you don't have any movement in the horizontal or in X, okay, that means that your delta X2 is actually zero kilometers. And delta Y2 is just what it, he traveled south. It would be negative 4.5 kilometers. Very similar to the exercise of the cat. Once we have this, we're going to find our resultant. To find our resultant, we need to add all, my, all the components. Delta X, and delta y. Delta x, as you can see, is 3.2 kilometers plus zero kilometers. If you add this, is 3.2 kilometers. And delta y would be 3.2 kilometers minus, because it's negative, 4.5 kilometers. Your answer here would be negative 1.3 kilometers. Once we have the components, we go to the resultant formula. The resultant formula said that delta x to the square plus delta y to the square inside the square root is just the Pythagorean theorem. We substitute the resultant is equal to delta x to the square is 3.2 kilometers to the square power and delta y to the square is negative 1.3 kilometers also to the square power. We evaluate this in our calculators and we have an answer of 3.45. We round the five according to significant figures, 3.4 and it will be kilometers. This is your resultant. Now we need to find what is the angle. As you can see in the first triangle, to find the angle, to use tangent, we had an opposite that is delta y over adjacent. Since we have this form, we're going to use the same form for everything. We're going to do that tangent of the angle is equal to 
opposite, as you can see, opposite is your delta y, so we're going to use delta y over the adjacent, that is delta x. We substitute tangent of the angle is equal to delta y is negative 1.3 kilometers that we know we simplify, and delta x is 3.2 kilometers. We solve for the angle, we know this already, it becomes an inverse of negative 1.3 over 3.2. Let's continue here. The angle is equal to, we plug this in our calculators, it says that it's negative 22 degrees. Okay, if it's negative 22 degrees, it's because it's not moving north anymore, it's moving south. And it was east, so this would be 22 degrees south of east. And that is your direction. Let's continue with the next type of exercise. Also, the drawing is made there so that we save time. It says, an airplane flying parallel to the ground undergoes two consecutive displacement. The first one is 75 kilometers, 30 degrees west of north. As you can see, your west is first. That means that your angle is going to be negative. So your angle here is negative 30.0. And the displacement is 75 kilometers. And the second, as you can see, this, this is your first one. The second one is your yellow vector is 155 kilometers, 155 kilometers. And it says that it's 60.0 degrees east of north. Okay, again, east of north, your angle is going to be here and it's 60.0 degrees. Okay, your triangles, as you can see, let's make them here, is this right triangle here and the yellow right triangle is going to be here, okay, using the angles. Now, this degree is positive because it's east. This degree is negative because it's west. With that, we're going to make a vector. So the first, uh, this is a uh, displacement also. So the first displacement or the first time it moves or the first vector. Okay, it says that is this triangle here, we're going to draw it so that we can find the components. It says that this is 75 kilometers. This is actually negative 30.0 degrees. And this would be my X component one, and this will be my Y component one. Let's find the components. In this case, if I use cosine of the angle, in this case, cosine of negative 30.0, it says that it's adjacent. So cosine here is for delta y. Delta y1 over the hypotenuse that is 75 kilometers. Procedure is the same. Delta y1 is equal to cosine of negative 30.0 multiplied by 75 kilometers. Delta y is equal to, let's plug this in our calculator. Delta y is equal to 65 kilometers we have delta y. Now, if we use cosine for delta y, that means that delta x is going to use sine. Sine of negative 30.0 multiplied 75 kilometers. Delta x is equal to, if we plug this in our calculator, it's 38 negative kilometers. We have the first two components. Now for the second displacement, or for the second trip, it says uh, here the angle, as we know, is positive, okay? If we make our triangle, the triangle looks something like this here. It's a right triangle. And it says that this is 155 kilometers. This would be my delta Y, now two, and this is my delta X, now two, and me, my angle is 60.0 here. Now, Let's continue. If we use cosine of the angle, cosine of 60.0 is equal to the adjacent, it would be delta y over the hypotenuse, that is 155 kilometers. Procedure is the same again. Delta y2 is equal to the multiplication of cosine of 60.0 and multiplies 155 kilometers. We plug this in our calculators cosine of 60.0 times 155, I have 
77.5. We use three significant figures here, kilometers. Since we use cosine for delta y, we're going to use sine for delta x. Sine of 60.0 multiplies 155 kilometers. Delta x2 is equal to, we make this multiplication and my delta x would be with three significant figures, 134 kilometers. Next step is find the totals, delta x and delta y. Delta x would be negative 38 plus 134. Negative 38 kilometers plus 134 kilometers. And delta y would be 65 plus 77.5. 65 kilometers plus 77.5 kilometers. Okay, so we plug this in our calculators. Delta x would be 96 kilometers. And delta y would be 142 kilometers. Remember that the resultant from here, we go here, the resultant is equal to, we have the formula already, we know that is this to the square and this to the square, 96 kilometers squared plus 142 kilometers squared. We solve for the resultant in our calculator and we have with three significant figures that is 171 kilometers. Okay, now here, if I use tangent in this angle, in this triangle, Tangent is delta x over delta y because it's opposite over adjacent. And if I use tangent here also, it's delta x over delta y. That means that my tangent has to be delta x over delta y in totals to find the degree. And we know that it becomes a tangent inverse of delta x that is 96 over delta y that is 142. We solve this in our calculators. It says that tangent inverse of 96 over 142 is positive 34 degrees. And we were talking about east because it's positive. East of continuing north. And that's your answer. Thank you for watching. And don't forget, physics is life.